John Bennett with Logic Pro X, and in this video, I wanted to show you how to use Flex Time to line up a song that is um, difficult to line up onto the grid and really get the, get it to match your project tempo. I uh, just did a hangout with one of my VIP members, um, which is which is really cool. And by the way, if you're a VIP member, I totally be happy to get on and try to help you out with whatever you're working on. The particular problem we were having, or um, my member was having was he was trying to remix um, a song from a live recording type thing and so you know time and stretch machine couldn't couldn't get it lined up on the grid and um, so I just kind of want to walk you through the process we went through so I just open up a new project and put an audio track on and I'm actually going to use the audio that he sent me so we can go through this together. Just drag this on here. I'm going to assume that we want our project at 120. That's the default. It doesn't matter. So the first process is to try to get a, an, a grasp on what the beats per minute of the song is, even though it may be fluctuating throughout the song because it's a live performance type of thing. So you'll, you'll understand here in just a second. So first thing I'll do is I'll play a little bit so you can get an idea. So there's definitely a tempo going on here. So we'll go over here to metering, add the BPM counter, and try to get a rough idea. O'clock. So you can see that our BPM counter got us at 102.6, and we want it to go to 120. So what we're going to do is just double click. It should open up down here. By the way, if you're not seeing these, then you need to go to preferences. A lot of people are like, oh my gosh, I don't see this, or this, that, and the other. You need to go to preferences, advanced, make sure everything's checked. I mean, a lot of people are like freaking out over that. So go over to file functions and we're going to time and pitch machine just like i've shown you in a lot of the other videos you get the original tempo a lot of times if you guys are doing it how i normally do it with with most songs you'll drag your songs into a tool called mixed in key it'll, it'll give you the tempo you don't even have to use the bpm counter because sometimes this is slow to, to make work so you'll have your original tempo we are just 102.6 we're going to take it to 120. Process and paste. It's updating the overview now. I just pop this down, pop this down, hit E to get rid of the, the editor down there. And we're going to see how close this matches to the grid. And you're going to see in a minute the problem that we're going to have. <laughs> So this is the downbeat right here. So I'm just gonna drag this over to five because I always put my downbeats on the odd numbers. Get in really tight. Meet me at the station at seven o'clock. You know what I like. So you, can, you can kind of see it starting to get off. Now, if we go back into the song down here. Hey. See that right there. This is the downbeat, should be on the 27. So it's getting off and it's kind of fluctuating throughout the song. So how would you deal with this? Because you can't remix this and you can't do a whole lot with it unless the whole thing lines up with the grid. So what we're going to do Misbehave. Cause I'm a make -up, baby. So you would come back, back here to where it starts to get off.
that's pretty on because that's the downbeat. We're just going to find where it starts to get way off. Meet me at the station at 7 o'clock. You know what I like and that I like him a lot. Let's go somewhere rowdy where we can engage. Another thing you can do is just turn on your metronome and see how off it sounds. We can engage. So it's, it's definitely off. So what we're going to do is double click it, you turn on flex mode. Now flex mode is not just um, time, but it's also pitch. But we're going to go down here, Oops. make this a little bigger. We're going to take a look at what's going on here. Hit the pitch button, I mean the flex button here. It's going to turn on the flex. It's going to automatically create uh, flex markers for all our transients in our waveform. So we go in. Well, you can see right now, this is off by just a hair. So if I pull this over, that click lines right up. I'm going to turn off my metronome because I don't need it. See how this downbeat, just you wouldn't know it, but that is just a little bit off. So we pull it here. Now what's happening when you pull these, it's stretching it from the previous flex marker. So you need to make sure everything still lines up. You see how we, we set this one? When we pulled this one back, we pulled some of these off a little bit. So we just tighten those up. Should be here. So now we should have So a nice loop there. So what we're going to do is just keep going through the song. I'm not going to go through the whole song. That'd be tedious. But this is starting to look pretty good. This is the one. It didn't give us a flex marker for the downbeat. That dong right there. So you just click it. Make a new flex marker. Pull it where it needs to be. That click is off just a hair. Okay, so that's pretty cool, on huh? Flex time. And I just let, you know, there's different um, flex time algorithms. Off, most of the time, I'll just put it on automatic. I'm going to turn off flex time now. And we're going to go in and just make sure this baby is ready to start remixing. So let's just, let's grab a beat. Should line up now. Turn the beat down a little bit. Pretty cool, huh? This, this probably sounds awful, but you get the idea. You go through that and now you've taken a song that's very difficult use flex time to line it up with your grid so now you can remix if you're interested in learning a lot more about this and going deeper and getting one-on-one -on -one help i encourage you to sign up on our site for free but more importantly go vip and then i can take the time to really work with you um, on your remixes and look forward to seeing you in the next video